Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skills. I am Matthew Adgani. Today's topic of presentation is on cell phone management. Cell phone management, dealing especially with cell phone etiquette. I am not a media professional, I just speak from my experience, giving you some practical tips on the efficient use of your cell phone. First, Point is, should you use silent mode or off mode when you are attending an important meeting where disturbance is not allowed, should your phone be on the off mode or silent mode? Better that you put it on the silent mode because after the meeting you will be able to get back to missed calls. If you put it on the off mode, you will not know who called you. And what do you do when you get no response to an urgent call? You're, uh, you have to convey some very important news like an accident or someone's death and the other person is not picking up the phone. What will you do? Well, you can send an urgent message uh, about the event or a message asking for an urgent call back. Regarding messages, you have got choice between text message and voice message, whether to type in message or send it as a voice message. In certain situations, the voice message is convenient, preferable, because it may be difficult to type in the message. Maybe you are in a shaky vehicle or your hands are not free to type in the message, then a voice message will do fine. Besides, people like to hear your voice on the phone. What about calls from unknown numbers? This can be a nuisance very often. These numbers are often business call or commercial calls. Well, you open the phone, but you don't speak anything. Just listen. And the message will play over the phone. You know it is a business or commercial call. Uh, just close the call and uh, block the number. You won't be disturbed anymore. Daily greetings. There are people who send you daily greetings, pictorial greetings, ready-made ones. Now, when you get daily greetings, are you going to look at them? Honestly, I don't. If I get a greeting from someone, once in a way, I will look at it. Otherwise, looking at daily greetings is a waste of time. And much less will I give a return greeting to that. Next is about checking messages on your phone. If you use a phone, you must check your messages, at least once a day or perhaps more, because people who are not able to reach you by phone, by a call, they will send a message and you should look at the messages. Next we have on the WhatsApp choice between video calls and voice calls. Which should you choose? Well, if you are calling friends, um, you can use a video call, but you should use your discretion. You should also consider the time and place the person may be. In some cases, a video call may be embarrassing. So use your discretion in using the, voice, the video call. With others, we use a voice call. And when you change your number, certainly you must inform your circle of friends about change your number. Otherwise, they can't reach you and they will blame you. That way you will lose friends. So register, uh, I mean, you tell them about the change of number and make sure you have registered numbers of your friends. Finally, returning calls. Always return calls from friends or known people. If you are not able to take the call at once, try to send a message uh, that you will return revert to them, you will call them back and if possible say what time you can call back. So it is courtesy to return calls from friends. So these are a few tips I like to give you this morning uh, about the use of your cell phone. I hope you find them useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Bye till another day. See you.